What is up future nurses? Welcome back to the heart of nursing. Hi, it's me again, Scotty Pippen Reyes, a student nurse who is currently in the second year of nursing school. If you want to know more about nursing school, just keep on watching. For today's video, we will tackle about the BSN Level 1 in detail, what are the subjects, what are the things that you should expect, and what are the ganap. Yes, ganap. <laughs> also, dito sasabihin ko kung ano ba yung return demo, ano nga ba yung ginagawa doon, ano yung mga checklist, what are the procedures na gagawin niyo. So yeah, as I've mentioned in my previous video that during the first year of nursing school, it is the time when you will spend your whole year in the classroom and in your skills laboratory or in your uh, nursing arts lab kung saan dun yung gagawin yung mga return demonstrations nyo nagagawa kayo ng isang procedure tapos iperperform nyo sa CI nyo or sa clinical instructor So the first year in the nursing school is the so-called uh, first step in the BSN program. It is your first step towards achieving that RN and it is the first step in making yourself a future registered nurse. Okay, so let's first discuss the subjects. So during your first semester, it is the time na more on general education subjects pa lang kayo like understanding the self, reading in the Philippine history, mathematics in the modern world, yung mga uh, general education subjects like during our senior high school. And guys, kung akala nyo wala ng PE, may PE pa po tayo sa college and hindi yun nawala since senior high school. Uh, during the first semester, the major subject is the theoretical foundation of nursing. It is a subject, it is a major subject that tackles about the different nursing theories like si Florence Nightingale, who is the mother of the modern nursing, si Dorothea Orem, si Virginia Henderson, si Aida Jean Orlando, yung mga, uh, mga theories natin in nursing tapos yung mga works nila like for example si Florence Nightingale the environmental theory Dorothea Orem the self-care deficit theory Ida Jean Orlando the nursing process and so on tapos during your first semester then is the anatomy and physiology one so yeah anatomy and physiology the different body systems the 11 body systems also, the biochemistry. Biochem. Same as with the anatomy and physiology, may lecture and may lab, may lab yun. Ang pinagkaiba lang nun, ang pinagkaiba ng lecture and lab is sa lecture more on written and sa lab is more on uh, skills, more practical exam, moving exam, ganun, mga moving exam like yung moving exam kasi Halimbawa, inside your classroom, tapos isa-isa kayong papasok, tapos kapag nag-ring yung bell, proceed ka na sa next station, tapos label the parts, ganun, label the parts, uh, name the functions, mga ganun. Tapos, biochemistry din, lecture and lab. Biochem, yun, itatakal yung mga different biomolecules, tapos maglalab din kayo, ganun, lecture and lab din yun. Okay, let's go with the second semester. So, your second semester in the first year, yun, may general education subjects pa rin kayo. Tapos, ang major subjects sa dito is Health Assessment 1, Health Education, and Fundamentals of Nursing Practice. Health Assessment 1, during our time, we it comes with the lecture and laboratory. Lecture, dito nila diniscuss kung paano gagawin yung mga skills, yung mga procedures, dito na dito namin tinakil kung ano yung mga steps, yung pagkakasunod-sunod, yung ad pay, pagkakasunod-sunod ng checklist, tapos pinareform namin sa lab. 
like, i-discuss nila sa lecture, tapos i-perform nyo sa lab nyo, like, dun yung return demonstration nyo with the clinical instructor. During our time, uh, we had our four skills in health assessment. First is nutritional assessment, assessment of the eyes, ears, nose, throat, kasama na yung thorax, tapos uh, genital urinary assessment, tapos yung assessment of the nails, skin, and appendages. Tapos, health education, it is a subject where you will tackle about the different learning styles, the different teaching strategies, and the different theories that are associated with teaching and learning. Okay, so fundamentals of nursing practice. During our time, sa lecture namin, we tackled about the Philippine nursing, the history of Philippine nursing, tapos healthcare delivery system, plus yung mga iba't ibang theories that are associated to the nursing from the past up until the present. Tapos sa lab, we had our four skills which is the vital science, body mechanics, infection control, tapos bed bath. So, dun sa four skills na yun, natutunan namin, first is a vital science of course, paano kumuha ng BP, paano kumuha ng body temperature, paano kumuha ng respiratory rate, ng pulse rate, Tapos sa body mechanics, natutun natutunan namin kung paano yung tamang position, kung paano yung tamang pagtayo, kung paano yung the different types of gait. Yun. Yung about sa mobility, ganyan. Tapos sa uh, infection control, dito namin natutunan yung mag hand washing in the medical and surgical. Tapos, yung different steps or the different procedures on how to donning of gloves and sterile gowns in open and closed method. Tapos, sa bed batting or yung hygiene, dito kami nagpaligo ng isa't isa like ako halimbawa, ako tapos may partner, ako, may partner akong kaklasiko, papaliguan niya ako by means of bed batting. Tapos, toothbrush, ganun. Yun. So, yung mga skills na yun is super enjoyable. Like, makupil mo talaga na you are nursing student kasi may alam ka na kung paano gawin yung procedure na to. Na pwede mong gawin din sa bahay nyo. Like, halimbawa sa bahay nyo na may nilalagnat. Yes, paano kumuha ng body temperature, paano mukunin yung BP ng nanay at tatay mo, ganyan. So, okay, so those are the subjects during your first year in the nursing school in the first semester and in the second semester. So now, let's go with the things that you should know pa about the BSN Level 1. Okay, so during your first year in the nursing school, dito yung time na nag adjust ka pa kasi iba yung senior high school sa college. Kasi maybe yung mga friends mo ng senior high school hindi mo nakasama sa ngayong college. This is also the time na you have to enjoy everything. So you have just to enjoy everything like kapag may return demonstration kayo kahit super super haba ng checklist nyo, super dami ng mga i-demo nyo. Just have fun like isipin mo magiging student nurse ka, isipin mo na stepping stone yung mga ginagawa mo yung mga ginagawa mo, yung mga gagawin mo. Dito din yung time na you have to learn how to do advanced reading. Like, kung hindi ka talaga fan ng advanced reading, ng pagbabasa, ganyan, prior dun sa klase nyo, kahit konting scan lang, kahit halimbawa kapag sinabi ng CI nyo na, okay, so next meeting we will talk about vital signs. So you have to uh, you have to read about vital signs ganyan, ganyan. So ikaw kailangan gawin mo is you have to scan or you have to search what is a vital sign, what are the vital signs ganyan. In order for you to have an idea na what are the vital signs tapos kapag nasa klase ka na yun, may idea ka na tapos alam mo na 
kung ano yung mga gagawin nyo, kung ano yung mga ipapagawa sa inyo ng CIA nyo. So, ayan, during your first year then in the second semester, um, may ano na kayo, gamit na kayo nito ng Nurses Pocket Guide or this is what we call the NANDA. Ito yung book siya na ang laman is mga different nursing diagnosis. Soon sa fundamentals of nursing practice nyo, you will tackle about the difference between the medical diagnosis and nursing diagnosis kasi magkaiba yun. Magkaiba yung diagnosis ng doktor, magkaiba yung diagnosis ng mga nurses. Okay, so during your first year in the nursing school, may, may mga iba't ibang ganaps kayo like surprise quizzes, like moving exams, series of return demonstrations, ano pa ba, uh, series of quizzes, Ganyan. Huwag kayong masasyak na halimbawa na quiz kayo ngayon tapos kinabukasan may quiz kayo ulit tapos kinabukasan may quiz kayo ulit then kinabukasan may quiz kayo ulit. One week quizzes. Diba? One week quizzes. Yun. Normal lang yun sa nursing school. Kaya you have to be prepared anytime. Okay, so let's go with the things that you'll be needing in the first year in nursing school. First one is kailangan mo ng notebook. Ang notebook is nakadepende na yon kung ilan yung ilan yung gag, ilan yung gagamitin mo. Kasi guys, may mga subjects na hindi na nag-require na mag-notebook kasi pwede na magpa-photocopy na lang, ganyan. Or naka, or depende na yun sa iyo kung magle-lecture ka using a notebook. Then you will be needing a ball pen of course, mga ball pen, pencils, also coloring materials. Saan yung gagamitin? Sa Anatomy and Physiology. Yun. Anatomy and Physiology, lalong-lalo na sa lab. Kasi may time doon na magkukulay kayo, kukulayan nyo yung part, yung isang body system. Na iba't ibang kulay na depende, halimbawa kapag color blue, kukulayan mo yung part na ganito. Color red, kukulayan mo yung part na ganito. Ganun. At saka label the parts during your Anatomy and Physiology. Also, hindi ko nasabi, during your second semester, may katuloy yung anatomy and physiology nyo, which is the anatomy and physiology 2 that tackles about the pathology and physiology. Kung sa first sem, kung sa anatomy and physiology, you will tackle the normal body systems. Sa second semester, sa pathology and physiology, you will tackle the, uh, the abnormal. You will tackle the deviations from normal. You will tackle the different... Uh, diseases na na associated dun sa subject na yun. Like, ano yung mga bagay na na-alter sa part na ganito? Ganyan. Sa pathology and physiology or the pathophysiology. Yun. Sa second semester yun. Tapos, ang kailangan mo pa is yellow pad for quizzes. Ganyan. For reaction paper, written works, Yun. Yun lang yung mga kailangan mo during the first semester. Mga basic necessities lang ng isang estudyante. Ball pen, paper, yellow pad. Ganyan. And coloring materials for the anatomy and physiology laboratory na magkukulay kayo or practical exam. Ganyan. In the second semester, since may return demo na kayo, papabilhan na kayo ng mga iba't ibang gamit like uh, thermometer, like uh, tongue depressor, stethoscope, BP apparatus, and ano ba ba? Yun yung mga canister, cotton balls with alcohol, wet and dry. Papabilhan din kayo ng gloves in sterile gloves and the clean gloves. Yun yung mga bagay na gagamitin nyo sa return demonstration mean nyo. So, uh, what to expect during your first year in the nursing school? Expect nyo na malaking adjustment pa sa inyo kasi yun nga, gaya ng nasabi ko, transition from being a senior high school student to being a college student na young professional ka na. Tapos, expect mo din na you will meet new friends, you will meet uh, different people. And another tip guys, since Nursing is expensive, lalo na if you wish to enroll in in, yung mga, in a school na super, ano talaga, super bongga, like, super bongga nila. 
So yun, look for scholarships kasi super helpful ng mga scholarships. Makakatulong yun sa pangbayad sa tuition mo, makakatulong yun sa pangbili mo ng mga paraphernalia, ng mga gamit, ng mga books, ganyan. Okay, so that's it. I think we're done with this video. So if you have questions, just comment it down in the comment box. And I'll answer it naman. So yeah, always remember nursing school stuff, but so you are. Happy nursing!